Well, hello guys, this is uh, Bomber Herald. I'm starting off my career on YouTube, so to speak. This is a quick video. I'm going to do a quick, very, very quick series in which I've taken control of Barcelona. Now, um, I don't often start as one of the big teams in world football, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to just have a little bit of fun, get to grips with some of the recording software out there, creating thumbnails, get some videos on my channel, then we might start off on some lower league football stuff. So as I said, taking over Barcelona. Now I've only um, I've only selected one league, as you'll see. I've only selected Spain. I'm not interested in this being a long-term career. I'll finish out the season and see where we go from there. My main objective is to get comfortable making the videos first off. Uh, then we're going to start off gradually getting into more lower middle league, league management. The goal being a long term save of a minor, minor club and hopefully see my way all the way up to managerial glory. So, as I say, we start off at Barcelona. I think everybody and their mother got any sort of interest in football knows what Barcelona are about. Some of the best players. Um, you know, obviously Neymar, absolute world talent. I expect him to bag a lot of goals. I'm probably going to use him on the left wing. Lionel Messi, of course, from the world's best footballer. I expect to use him predominantly on the right. Luis Suarez through the middle. Now, there's not going to be any great, great tactical information coming from me. I play a very basic... 4-3-1-2, it seems to be the the way of things on Football Manager. I will probably look to have my fullbacks attacking, especially being at such a good club. Um, I'll probably here I'll probably look to use a, a ball winning midfielder on maybe support will be a bit more adventurous. This is a key player for me. I always use a deep playing playmaker. On um, the support duty, now this is going to be a very important player. It has to be a world beater, and I'm sure we'll find someone to fit the bill. Over here, now this, this can be a box-to-box -box mid midfielder, maybe. Another ball-winning midfielder, possibly. Um, I don't want to be too creative with another advanced playmaker, although the team like Barcelona could probably get away with it. Central midfielder on an automatic duty is probably what we'll leave it out for now. Here is definitely going to be an advanced playmaker um, on an attack on attack mentality. Over here, I like to have target man support, and over here, puncher with attack. Now, obviously, this is a very very basic um, setup for me. Um, I always push slightly higher, um, play narrow football, um, tempo, going to be high, maybe normal. Um, obviously we'll pass into space, we'll play out of defence obviously, it's the Barcelona way, um, passing directness, we've got to have short passing. We'll play, we'll retain possession. We're Barcelona after all. We're going to look for the overlap. That's where our attacking fullbacks come in. And obviously, we're going to work the ball into the box because we're all smashing balls from all over. Um, from there, I mean, we'll use flexible. Normally, as I say, I, I normally take over smaller clubs so. Would no, I would normally be on a structured mentality there, but we'll we'll go flexible, and because of Barcelona, we're going to look to control every match. Um, so that's it for now. Um, we'll have a look at the we'll have a look at the players and see who's going to fit where. And when I come back on episode number two, hopefully we've got a tactic in place, and we'll start looking at what we're going to do. Now, I'm not going to sit and go through every click, every negotiation for a footballer. I'm not going to go through press conferences with you. I'm going to condense it down. We'll do some matches. Um, we'll 
we'll maybe do one or two matches per video that I'll go away. I'll, I'll go through the season myself doing the grinding. When we get to the transfer window, then we might look at who to bring in. We might get some feedback. Just depends how this goes. Obviously, at the moment, I know no one's watching, so it's just it's just myself getting comfortable making these videos. Obviously, I do I do use just to get disclosure out there in the first video. I do use an edited database. Now, it's nothing drastic. I'm not I'm not got. Um, my favourite team, Doncaster Rovers. I've not got those as world beaters or James Coppinger as the, as the Doncaster Messi or anything like that. It just simply means I've downloaded uh, some I've downloaded some name fixes for certain leagues. I've also got the Japanese league, a Japanese league database with all the players on there and the league structure. I'm not activating them as I say, just Spanish league only. I just want it if anyone sees them on a database and some players are popping up that you you've maybe not seen and the scouts are returning some Japanese god it's not me I've not I've not put them in there as a um, as a ringer it's just simply there because I've got a different database so what we'll do is we'll um, we'll look at what players fit in where we'll do a, a quick Let's um, pick without restriction entire team. Let's have a look. So obviously Luis Suarez, Neymar, Messi behind. Could well be how we do it. As I say, I may look to play him over here, him through the middle, and Messi over there at some point. Who knows? We just um, we'll just have to see how that goes. Obviously, it'll be inside inside forwards, inside forwards. If we were to do that. But um, anyway, I'll go away. I'll have a look which players fit in which position. We'll come back episode number two, hopefully pre-season out of the way, and we'll get some games under our belts. Um, so until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.